In this video, I'm going to show you what the new Chinese rocket tank, the BZ-176, can do. It is incredibly broken and I've had loads of fun on the first day of playing it. Enjoy! In this first battle, I used the rocket booster to get into early position for a shot and the tank is incredibly fast. And just look at what happens. <sighs> well... I guess the Buras got rebalanced chat. Merry Christmas, Buras. I need to run, man, because I have no team chat. Okay, I got double track. Unlucky. I was sure the game was over for me since I thought I couldn't run until this happened. I'm out, boys. <laughs> it's absolutely incredible how fast this rocket booster gets your tank and you can just leave these tough situations very, very quickly and get into safe positions afterwards. Like that guy. <laughs> oh, man. It's so fun, dude. Why is it so accurate, though? Oh, yes, Yak Tiger. Do it. Do it, my guy. Easy. Oh? No way. No! I'm hitting the biggest pixel shot, but I'm not hitting that. Oh, no, I guess we're gonna lose. <laughs> I had fun, dude. Spot it. Oh, wow. What a wow. Yep, the turret roof can be overmatched by guns about 123 millimeters. So you need to be really careful about enemy tanks with those guns. <laughs> Brother, not just yet, dude. So good! This tank's so good! <laughs> Activate jet boosters. Bro, they are crazy. The light tank can barely reach me, dude. The rocket boosters allow this tank to get into very nice early game positions. Sometimes you can literally keep up with other lights and ultra mediums, but you only have four charges, which is quite low in the grand scheme of things, so you need to be very careful. Most of the time you want to be firing H rounds unless you meet with opponents that you can't pan, yet you can overmatch them since it's got 160mm caliber, which overmatches any armor below 54mm due to the triple overmatch rule. Finally! Yeah, yo, we can ram him. <gasps> no! No! It's too many of them, bro. I can't. <laughs> this is so broken, man. There's no for Progetto, guys. And guys, welcome to World of Jets, where you get to see the first Chinese jet fighter in action. Don't believe me? Fly up in the sky like like an actual rocket, dude. <laughs> what? We gotta, we gotta kill the Chinese pretender tank. I am the real Chinese tank. I am the real Chinese tank. Nice, good job, man. I wish you had more boosters, man. This booster mechanic is so much fun, dude. Once again, I use the rocket boosters to get into position fast on E2 and then go hull down. Make sure to use the rocket boosters only when you can drive straight, since the tank can't turn at all when they are activated. I also see that the enemy bees is playing quite aggressively, so I switch quickly to AP rounds, because as I mentioned, AP rounds literally overmatch the entirety of his roof. Watch this, dude. That's insta overmatch, dude. Does he know I can overmatch him? He doesn't, man. Oh, guys, you need to be really careful about that. He doesn't know. He didn't know, man. That was too fast. Damn, 590. Not bad. I wonder if the KPZ is on the corner there. Pretty sure he was, dude. Oh! Oh! We blinded him, bro. <laughs> Nah, so close. Go for the type chat. Shot. Oh, shoot. I didn't think this guy was still sitting there, bro, not doing anything. Oh. Guess I gotta go back into the same position, boys. Oh. Oh. 
<laughs> okay, man. Okay, um, what do we do here now? Uh huh. One. Two. It's so small, man. You can just hide in here fully, bro. It's crazy. It's so small, dude. You can just hide in here fully, dude. I can get one more out of this, maybe. Get one more out of this. You found a really good position, bro. 4k damage, man. Not bad. We had a blind on the KPZ for 634, dude. Ooh, tier 10. Ooh. You can basically complete some missions, we get some points, and then based on how many points we get as a community, I'll be able to give away some rewards to viewers. Ah, there we go! Armor holds up though. The third turret nicely holds up. It's like pretty defective. Ah, there we go. Oh, wait. What have you done, guys? <laughs> Yo! <laughs> okay, man. Imagine. I wanna shoot those two, man, but DNA is like a watchdog, car dog here. Escon skin, Escon skin looks really nice, though. No, he's gonna. Yo! Ah, he's dead! Uh huh. Four point five k damage in tier ten, guys. I don't think that's bad. Ah oh, man, he's got heat. Unfortunately, we have the bad side on this map, so I use two boosters to get to J too quickly. Nobody here, bro. Sassy. Bro, no, not you. Can we just yolo him? Is there anything behind him? No, man. But first, let me show you guys a pretty cool game. A major zombie apocalypse has hit our world and it is up to us gamers to lead our people to survival. Let me quickly show you around my city. First of all, the doomsday appearance is quite nice. Here's my titan fortress. My garage, the command center, a biochemical lab, city hall, main hall, my depot, the hospital, academy and so many other different buildings that all serve different purposes in your survival. You also have buildings that help you gather resources required to build and supply your city and its people. Now let's play my favorite thing in this game, the tower defense mode. You basically have to repel hordes of angry zombies by building up multiple layers of defenses. The spots where you can build towers are highlighted with blue and there are four types of towers that all have differing costs and abilities. My favorite one is the gigantic electric field tower which slows down opponents so all the other towers can just butcher the zombies preventing them to reach their end goal, a door to civilization. The less zombies reach their destination on the map, the more stars you will get and the more stars you get, the better your rewards will be at the very end. My favorite tactic is to just spawn one or two electric fields on the very beginning of their path and afterwards just build as many double cannons as possible since they all have pretty nice AoE damage. Apart from the double cannons, I also like to use the Gatling gun, which is firing quite rapidly. It isn't that good against multiple enemies, but when zombie bosses start spawning, they get shredded apart insanely fast, especially when you upgrade them to level 2. Oh yeah, you can also upgrade your towers to make them deadlier for those poor zombos. This game was pretty hard, the zombies are coming from two different spawns onto a roundabout. I tried employing my usual tactic of deploying those towers which slow them down, and also put down as many damage dealing towers as possible. It seemed quite easy at first and my towers were butchering them like no tomorrow, so I sat back and relaxed and eventually there were just too many of them and slow realized they did not have enough firepower to be able to kill off the zombie bosses until they reached their destination. There are some really hard ones but that's exactly what makes this game mode quite fun to play. When there is a challenging map you just kind of get addicted to it and play until you win. Looking back at this clip I realized that there were some open spots for turrets I never used to erect towers even though I had enough resources for them. Oh yeah, forget to mention that you get crystals for killing zombies and each tower requires a certain amount of crystals for you to build. Well, this turned out to be quite unlucky. Guys, you should try and beat my score on this one. 
one. You have lots of kinds of units for you to build and you should definitely build an army since there is the chance of directly fighting other players too, be it solo or with your alliance. The competition is fierce but by cooperating with other players and by selecting appropriate strategies you can create some huge fleshy pvp fights. The entire combat is going on in real time which means the results can be quite unpredictable which is quite the fun factor in itself. You can also fight different kinds of monsters for extra rewards so definitely make sure you have a huge army ready for them. Do you need more resources to build buildings and four more unit regiments? Age of Origins has got you covered in this regard too. As you're progressing your game you can open the quests tab and here you can claim numerous bonuses that will help you in your fight in this apocalyptic world. Don't want to fight other players and the zombie hordes alone? Join an alliance. There are so many you can choose from and being in an alliance has a long list of benefits that will help you improve your gameplay. You have different kinds of alliance buildings that can be built by members of your group and they all give you some pretty nice passive bonuses such as elite mines that get you even more resources to build your city. If your alliance also has a fort built, you can also keep one army safe in case of getting attacked. You can also challenge elite zombies together with your fellow members and work on bringing them down together. They have a lot of HP so you will need quite an army to defeat them but they will give you some super nice loot in the end. You can also meet and acquire different infected unique characters. Meet one of them, Lucy. She was an infected zombie but you can save her and win her for your troops to not only help you against zombies but she can actually control the biochemical zombies as well. How you treat and interact with her will affect the power and strength of those units. You can also acquire different kinds of officers which all help you get even more bonuses for your city and combat capabilities. There are four types, Director, Strategy, Warfare and Drill Master. You can recruit them into your army to train your troops and increase their effectiveness on the battlefield. There's also the option to continuously improve them since you get a lot of bonuses to give them extra XP, store them up and get even more benefits. And my favorite guy is Medici. One of the features I enjoy the most in this game and I'm sure you will too is the tower defense mode. Just so satisfying watching gigantic cannons absolutely shred the zombies apart. You can also recruit titans. They are extremely strong creatures and they do massive damage to enemies on the battlefield. The titans Genshin and Empress are two of those unique characters that can stand by you in a fight and help you with their unique skills. You can mount different kinds of weapons on them that all have devastating effect and you also have numerous skins that customizes their appearance. Using these you can truly create your very own personalized titan. There are also a ton of events going on at all times, you can even get more bonuses from these and right now the Black Friday offers are also available in game which means you have access to the quest bingo. It is like bingo but completing 4 in a row will result in you getting extra loot for your survival needs. And now that I got you interested, download the game through the link in my description since using my link will get you a $60 worth of gifts to enjoy. Thank you Age of Origins for sponsoring this video. Uh huh. Reverse speed with turbo is quite nice, I'm not gonna lie. Such easy pan, dude. Nice. <sighs> Come on. Ah <laughs> oh, man, he stole the kill. They are basically gonna get f man. We need to go back. AP is very useful for overmatching targets. Like when you have heavily armored targets, you can overmatch their roofs and stuff. It's pretty fun because you have 160 millimeters of uh, caliber. I waited too long. I waited too long. It's important to be patient and wait until you can catch your enemies with their pants down for easy HE pants. <laughs> That's his real name, dude. MTCTT. Wow. Look, I should have shot the other guy. Had his full lore plate out, but I'm stupid. I have no more uh, boosters. I think we should just camp this, man. They're gonna push the bridge anyway. Why are you running, bro? Oh. Oh. I'm pretty sure that's a fan. Oh, yeah, we fanned him. We fanned him blind, boys. Boop. Surely you can deal with him, right? Hola. Hola. <laughs> Where's the STRV guys? Man, imagine if I had a booster now, I could just ram the STRV and pan him once, dude. I think the STRV is camping, I don't... If he's, if he's here, then he's here. Oh yeah, he's in front of me. No! Bro, what? Ah! Please. Nice. I gotta pan him in the side, man. This tank is very fun. I just wish we had more boosters. But I guess it's like a balance, balance thing. I would not be against having...
328. We got this. Well played, brother. Well played. Look at that. Ace tanker. 5k damage. Once again, I used the rocket booster to get up and get an early damage shot. We unfortunately hit the space armor on WZ, but th this map is absolutely amazing for this tank, and you guys are gonna see why in a second. Oh yeah, this tank has really good turret armor if you haven't seen already, and also very, very good gun depression. 10 degrees. <laughs> Poor WZ, man. I'm gonna shoot those guys now. Wait. I'm gonna shoot that guy. Balance, guys. Balance. Well, look at V32 then. Oh. Oh, unlucky, man. Nothing wrong with it. 2.3k damage in less than two minutes. Hello. When the VZ turns, I'm gonna ram him in the ass, Chad. No? Oh, easy, easy. <laughs> oh, man, so close. Ace tanker. 135k. Let's just rush the middle, guys. <laughs> you gotta go up to the mid, man. I like how I'm the same speed as the Progetto, guys. Look at it. I'm gonna I'm gonna reach the, the position with the same, same time with the Progetto, dudes. You can take really nice positions with this thing, for sure, dude. <laughs> that was the moment he knew. Stop, dude. <laughs> Can I even pen a Vipera from the front chat? I think it's legitimately impossible, no? Holy sh**, you're aggressive, bro. <laughs> Progetto, don't leave me, bro! Don't leave me, Progetto, why have you done? Progetto! Surely, bro, surely. You can't turn, mate. You can't turn. <laughs> That's why I didn't use the booster, man, because you can't turn. Hello, boys. Hello, guys. Oh yeah, Vipera, surely. <laughs> Whatever, I'll just gonna ram into the Vipera boys. <laughs> oh, man, you tracked me, bro. <laughs> what? 350, man. 350 ram some final words about this tank. It is probably the most fun of all the new tanks and I really like the rocket mechanic even though it is incredibly dumb in my opinion. This tank is also pretty toxic, especially to low tiers, it's got good armor that they can barely pen and also the gun itself is just something else as you have seen in the video. Well guys, thank you for watching and don't forget to enter our community team by using the code HO23KAIZU on your regional World of Tanks website. You can find the code redemption link in the description. Also, if we reach 4000 likes on this video, I'm going to make a video about the new tier 9 Shar French light. Thanks for watching.